and ladies, please, quickly, we're very late. We don't have a lot of time left. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome to Conservation 102. We're slowly getting ourselves going. Welcome, welcome, ladies. For this module, as I said yesterday, um, so please, guys, remember there are three venues. So on Monday, listen up, ladies, please, please come in quietly. On Mondays, we're meeting in A Block. Today we meet here, hospitality from now on. And then on Thursdays, we're meeting in building nine, where you had botany this morning. Okay, building in the main auditorium in room two. Okay, please guys, this again is now, we have to be able to start on time. So this week we understand new venues, difficulty of getting together, but we have to, we have to work together with this, okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over again what we did last yesterday and just to show you that your manuals are ready. So I, um, did you guys notice this morning you were all added to Moodle? No, not yet. Okay, I'll make sure that you guys are added today. And then what I'm going to do is upload this manual. So this is the manual that you will need to go through for my part of Conservation 102. And as you can see, the components it includes is we're looking at the conservation of water resources on <coughs> regional scales in South Africa. So we're going to look at how to conserve and manage water resources and look at different spatial scales. What do you do on a site level? What do you do in a, in a region like in the Mobella region? What do you do on a catchment scale? Um, we're going to look at water resource management in South Africa. We're going to look at um, the conservation of ecosystems in protected areas. What are the differences? There are different acts. So the Water Act versus the Environmental Management Act. We have started looking at the components of a catchment system, which I'm going to go through again today, because I think that's important that when we talk about water resources, what is it that we're talking about? So I'm going to run through that again today. Uh, we're going to look at rivers and their use. We're going to look at lakes. We're going to look at estuaries. And then we're going to look at some industries that utilize these resources, and we need to manage those industries. Okay, we're going to also touch on that as well. Easy peasy. So this will be uploaded. This manual, everything we present is, comes from this manual. So based on what I discussed, um, started yesterday, you will see that in the components of a catchment system section of your manual, you have it all written out for you to show you what you need to do. So I want you to work through this manual. Okay, all of your exam questions, everything will come from this manual. You with me? The, um, if you don't understand something in the manual, then please go to the Sanbi textbook, the Sanbi report. And that is looks like this. So this is available to you guys as well. I'll put it on Moodle as well for you. And you can then go through this to see exactly what type of ecosystems we're talking about, how to classify these ecosystems, okay? So all of this information comes from this textbook. Okay, it's quite explanatory. It helps you to show you exactly what we're talking about. Guys, we're going to test you a lot on do you know what it is that we're talking about? What is the type of system that we're referring to? Okay, you need to know what it is you're managing. Great. Okay, let's go back to the lecture and I'm just going